Okay guys, so I might have lied. I'm at the bins. <laughs> Hello everyone! I lied to you guys for the first time ever and that lie was on Tuesday when I said that there would be no bins haul today so that was not true. Unexpectedly there is going to be a bins haul today and sorry I'm not looking I am driving home because I actually was just at the bins. My story and reasoning for fibbing to you guys is today which is Wednesday that I'm filming this. I was supposed to have a dentist appointment at 10.30 and it was supposed to take like 45 minutes. And so I was like, no way to fit the bins in, not gonna go to the bins. Tuesday's all we got to work with and Tuesday it sucked at the bins. So I wasn't gonna haul that stuff. I didn't even have enough. But then my dentist called me yesterday and they asked me if I could come in at eight because they couldn't have me at 10.30. And I said, sure. And the appointment only took 19 minutes and I got out of there and I was like, ugh, I have time to go to the bins. <laughs> so I decided to go today, totally didn't plan for that at all. But also I have a few family members who are home today and it's hard to work when people are home anyways. Usually people aren't home on Wednesdays. There was just a lot of reasons to go and so I did and I definitely did better than when I went to the bins on Tuesday. I definitely did better than I did on Tuesday. And so I am gonna do a haul for you guys watching right now, right after I'm done talking, of the stuff that I did get on Tuesday and then the stuff that I got today. Just ignore the days that I keep saying because it's confusing. I can hardly keep up with what days I went to the bins, what days videos are going up, etc. It's all over the place. But yeah, you guys are about to see a haul. Sorry that I lied, but isn't it a good lie? Cause now you get a bins haul that wasn't expected. Who knows? Cause Thrift With Us can be like hit or miss anyways. We could have went too unique and there could have been nothing. So hopefully this is a positive for a lot of you that you are getting a bins haul today. Now I'm gonna stop blabbing and I'm gonna keep driving and I'm hopefully Hopefully, I'm going to stop somewhere for some chicken nuggets because I'm starving. So, future Jack, take it away. <laughs> Hello there, everyone, and happy Thursday. As you can see by the title and the thumbnail and by the intro that you just saw, I told you guys a fib. I told you the first live I ever told you guys, and that was that there was going to be no bins haul today. There actually is a bins haul today, and that is because, I mean, I just explained it all in that clip, but because I was up a lot earlier, had a lot more free time than I expected, and was actually able to go to the bins two times since we last talked. Tuesday did not deliver a full bins haul bins trip for me, but I did go yesterday, and honestly, I could have probably made a haul just out of yesterday's stuff, but I can now combine the two, and I definitely, definitely have enough for a full bins haul. I think that this one is better than the one that you guys saw on Tuesday. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys this one. Once again, I got shoes, I got belts, I got clothing. Once again, there's no bags, I don't think. But yeah, I got a lot of good stuff again. And I'm, I'm actually excited to have a bins haul for you guys instead of a thrift with us because I feel like thrift with us definitely can be, sometimes it's a hit, but it can be a big miss. Like if there is nothing, then it's just me flipping through stuff, which that's not that exciting. I do have good stuff to show you guys. I got some exciting stuff, even some like really exciting, interesting, like vintage stuff. And I do have a lot. I literally have an entire Poshmark branded Ikea bag full, plus some shoes that are sitting on the ground in front of me. So we are just gonna dive right in to the haul. Let me know below, are you disappointed that it's a bins haul again, or are you excited that it's a bins haul? I had said it in my Instagram story, and I did have a few people say that it was a good lie that there is gonna be a bins haul. So I'm glad if you guys are excited about it, I am. Before we jump into the haul, of course, though, here is a clip from Ryan if he so kindly sent me one or if he didn't I will at least throw in some pictures of Ryan from his Disney trip. I know that he recently got a Ratatouille little buddy which is my favorite Disney movie by far and he's been keeping it on his shoulder so he's been sending me pictures of his 
journey with Ratatouille throughout Disney World, but here's Ryan. Hello, everybody. Today, I, <gasps> today's Thursday. I My vacation is very slowly coming to a close, which makes me so upset because it feels like I've been here for 20 minutes and I've been here for almost five days. So I have all of today, which today is the beach day. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a little overcast right now, but the sun's supposed to come out a little later. And then tomorrow we go to the Animal Kingdom, which I'm super excited about. And then Saturday is just like lounge around the hotel, chill, pack. And then Sunday, we all have to be up at four in the morning to get back to the airport. So here, is the view of the day. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. A wild animal, where'd it go? <gasps> it says don't feed, so we won't feed her. It's okay. We are at the Manatee Park right now. Oh, look at this school. <gasps> All kinds of wild animals. Look at that. Wow. We are at the Manatee Park today, and then we are going to the Ron John Surf Shop, one of my favorite places on planet Earth, and I'm gonna buy an overpriced, massive sweatshirt and a Florida theme, probably. Wow, that's a good one. I'm gonna start with the shoes. I got three pairs of shoes, and then I got three belts. So the first pair of shoes I got is this pair of mule slash loafers. And these are by Franco Sarto. These are a size seven and a half. And I just thought that these are really cute. I literally never pick up Franco Sarto, but they're brand freaking new. And I think that they're a really cute style. And this is something that of course, like I say with a lot of stuff, if it's not doing good for me, I can totally, totally consign this. Any consignment store or buy sell trade store around me would absolutely buy that. But I think that they're really cute. And we have a pair of Steve Maddens. And these are a style of Steve Madden that I absolutely love to pick up. Same with the Sam Edelman horse bit loafers. These are like their version of the Gucci, I forget what the shoe is called, but the Gucci mules and loafers that everyone's obsessed with. These are called the Candy, K-A-N-D-I. And these are size nine and a half. And these were just like a little dusty when I found them, but I already cleaned them up because yes, once again, I have literally all of this, or it should be all of this listed and photographed. Since Ryan's not here, I get home and I like get to work. So yeah, here are some, I almost said Gucci loafers. I wish these were Gucci loafers. Some Steve Madden loafers, nine and a half. Also in really good shape. They have a little bit of toe wear, but it's really not that bad. Then my last pair of shoes, this is a new brand to me, but they stood out. They caught my attention with this heel. And then they also, I could just tell they were nice leather. And of course they say made in Spain on the bottom, which is always, an attention grabber if it's like made in Spain or made in Italy or Brazil. These are a size 7 or 37 and they are by a brand called Coclico. Coclico. C-O-C-L-I-C-O. Coclico. And these are Velcro. Kind of like United Nudes from the last one. Wear Velcro sandals as well. So the retail on these is really, really high. Like literally like 250 or more. Uh, the comps are kind of all over the place. So I'm just gonna have to see what I can get for them. These I don't have listed when I'm filming, but my goal is to have these listed by tonight. Sometimes when things are new to me or something, it takes me a little longer to list because obviously I have to do a lot more research because I have no idea anything about those. So let's do the belts now. First up is this really cute like boho embroidered belt. And this is by Fossil. There you go. And I really like to pick up fossil belts at the bins, and I really like to pick up kind of like interesting, like vintage ones. If this was a vintage one and it looked like this, I would totally pick it up. This, I don't, it doesn't have a size on it, but when I measure it from the end to the holes, the holes are from 32 and a half inches to 36 and a half. Then we have this belt, which, oh, I wish I could get more information on, but I cannot. It is this, I don't know much about belts and like belt verbiage, but this is the closure on it, like clasp lock, maybe. And it's this really nice like gold tone heavy metal and it's kind of like a silver cork look to it with studs. And the reason I picked this up, also it's like elastic, it's like a belly band thing. The reason I picked this up was because it says really small right here, that says made in Italy. So this possibly could be like a really nice brand, but there are no labels left. It almost looks like maybe there was a label here at one point. I'm not sure. I've tried to reverse image search it and everything and I can't find anything, but I have a feeling that this is a somewhat decent belt. So I'm just gonna list it as like an Italian 
belt, I guess. And this one is, I think it's, it's 17 across. So it's like 34 inches, but it has like a ton of stretch to it. And last, I guess this is not a belt. I totally forgot that this is a crossbody, not a belt. It is this rose embroidered floral crossbody strap, and it is by Anthro. So everyone had skipped this, and I thought it was really pretty, and so I checked it, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get that. The only issue with it is there's like a little bit of glue marks there, but that's not that bad. Or else it's in totally awesome condition. It's almost like a guitar strap thickness. I thought it was really cute. That's why I got that. So now let's move on to the clothing. Oops, I did it again. I went to the bins. I'm gonna start off with my absolute favorite vintage thing that I found by far. This is from day one. I think, okay, so all those shoes were from Wednesday's trip, not Tuesday's. And literally like at least 80% of the clothing is from Wednesday and not Tuesday. So that is what I mean by Tuesday was a really small trip. This actually was on Tuesday and this was my best thing probably from Tuesday. And this is amazing. So it's a vintage Sherpa fleece all over print eagle, like bald eagle print jacket. These are extremely popular with like streetwear and like men and like vintage heads nowadays like these are all over grailed for a lot of money this is a size large men's and it is by adventure pass so it's just vintage but then the back has this huge bald eagle like motif this is amazing i literally love this and i cannot believe nobody grabbed this it had a few spots on a sleeve but i did wash it and actually it looks like it cleaned up so that's pretty awesome there so now i don't think there are any flaws to this the zipper has like a little bit of scuffing otherwise we are all good we're gonna jump into the pants first it looks like i actually did sort this yesterday when i was taking pictures so that's fantastic first up is this really really cute pair of anthropology pants and these are by hey hey or hi hi and these are extra small and these are from my Wednesday trip, so the better of the two. And I think these are really cute. They're like navy blue and gold, and they're just kind of like boho-y. And they have pockets, and they're super flowy, and they'd be very, very comfortable. Then we have a pair of Lucy pants. This is the only Lucy piece I ever pick up. The label is like worn away. It used to be right here but these are a size medium. And these are the Lucy, I still don't remember the name, even though I've had them like four times, but these are like the Lucy knockoff of the Lululemon Dog Walker slash Dance Studio. They have like the cinchable ankle. And every time I have these, they do really good, just because like those Lulu models are very, very popular. So people will still settle for like the knockoffs. And I know I said that that's the only Lucy I ever pick up, but I actually this time did pick up one other pair of Lucy. Does anyone have good luck with Lucy? I just don't besides those. So I almost always skip it. I see it like kind of frequently, but it's kind of like that brand like Lole, L-O-L-E. And there's like a few other ones like that are just athletic, but they just don't do that good for me. But these Lucy's, like I said, they're like new. Like this label seems to have never been like washed or anything. These are extra small and they're the perfect Power Max Core collection. They are leggings, like gray Henley leggings, and they're kind of like a flared boot cut. So that's actually why I got these because they are high rise and they're flared so that's pretty popular right now there's a little lucy like color so that's why i'm gonna try these because flare and boot cut is like having a moment so i just kind of feel like they could do okay then we have a pair of lululemon leggings these ones definitely do sell so these are much less of a gamble than the lucy's there is the logo on these and these are from that collection where it kind of like curves out i am so I've been doing this for so long, but I'm so like not fluent with Lululemon names and Lulu language. But these are the curve crop leggings, super elasticy, stretchy waist. And these have no size in them, but they measured like, they're pretty small. They were like 12 and a half inches across the waist. If you're interested and you want to know the size, they, like I said, should be listed if you want to go look. They are in really good condition. There's like a little bit of like wear between the, 
legs, but that's not a big deal. So this trip, I actually got a lot of stuff for Ryan. I have like a Ryan Bins goodie bag. <laughs> fitting and it's high V, which is an Iowan company. But this is full of stuff that I think Ryan would like to sell that I picked him up at the bins. I also got a bunch of stuff for Debbie to sell, but this is something I would normally give to Ryan, but I think I'm gonna try these myself because they're really cute. So these are like tortoise leggings. It's like, tor like tortoise shell, like the sunglasses, isn't that? cool i think that's really cool and these are by out from under which is urban outfitters and these are a size small and i just really love that these are tortoise and so that's why i'm gonna try these next up we have a pair of nikes i definitely don't always get nike but these are in really good condition and i think these are really nice these are size small women's and these are like an almost windbreakery dog walker dance studio fabric but they're like cinched joggers. They literally are in super, super good condition. And obviously like it's January and the beginning of the year, so everyone's gonna start working out. So I thought those would be good to pick up. Then one of my favorite finds of the day are these camo leggings. And if you know, you know what these are. These are the green camo leggings and these are by Spanx, which is one of my favorite brands to sell by far, and these are size small. My favorite kind of Spanx to sell are the camo ones, so I was super excited to find these. I feel like if you know Spanx, as soon as you just like see them sitting there, you know it's gonna be Spanx. Like I literally saw those and I hardly even had to look in them. I was like, I just found some Spanx. Next up is a swim piece, and I personally despise selling swim, but I'm gonna give this a try. This is a velvet swim bottom, and you can tell it's really cheeky and high-waisted, which is very popular for swim, and it's actually ASOS swim, and these are a size US 8. Ultra, ultra clean. Trust me, these are spotless and super clean, even though they don't have the liner in them. I just think that these will do pretty good. It'd be good for Valentine's Day, but like you don't go swimming on Valentine's Day normally, I don't think. Then we have another pair of Levi's. These are 724 high rise straight, so even better than the high rise skinny in my opinion. And these are size 29, so a pretty good size. And these are, again, like the classic, like, medium wash. They've got the big Levi's patch on the back. No flaws. And they are a zipper fly. Next up, I wish these were adult, but these are children's. And this is my only children's item this time. These are Juicy Couture size small girls. And these are velour track bands for a little girl, which is so cute. And Gina, if you're watching, you always snatch up my like little girls stuff. Can you imagine your little girl in this like really adorable track suit? You guys could get like matching track suits and be so like Y2K. That'd be so freaking cute. <laughs> you can both have like fuzzy little like feather juicy couture purses or something. That'd be a cute picture. Next up is a pair of vintage jeans. So I'm just gonna try these vintage Lee jeans. They've got the big Lee patch and the like Lee wave swoosh on the back pocket. These measure 16 inches across the waist, but I usually wear a 29 or 30. To me, these almost seem more like a 31, maybe a 32, I don't know. And if you're like, what are you doing? Just so you know, you can tell if jeans are gonna fit you by doing this, because your forearm is the length of your waist, I guess. But this works for knowing if something's gonna fit you. You put your elbow in one side and your wrist in the other, or you can do this. So these should fit me like perfect, weird. These, I don't know. So they measured 16 across, but they almost like, up to me, measure more to like a 30, I don't know. They're zipper fly, and they're just like a classic, like mom slash dad jean. I think they'll do okay. So that's it for my like bottoms and jeans and pants. I have one accessory type of thing. So this is Lululemon, and where is that label? This is that like weird scarf that can be worn like 20 quadrillion different ways. There's the logo. So it can be like a scarf, a shawl. It can actually be like a poncho. There's two armholes. It can be like a cardigan. There's like the staticky print. And then this is the inside. It can be literally 
something it's like 24 different ways to wear that or something then i got two bras and my first one is a really cute nike bra i really like that it has the nike spelled on the bottom this just seems some, like something that someone athletic would wear or like a girly would wear it has like a mesh panel on the back and then this is a size medium size medium and my other bra I think this one's really, really cute. I love this color. This is by Athleta, and the logo is on the back right there, and it has kind of this, like, four-strap situation on the back. This actually, I think, was a medium, too. Yeah, this is also a medium, so if you were gonna, like, join a gym soon and you wanted two new sports bras, I got them for you. Then, let's jump into the jackets, coats, sweaters, vests, boosts, uh, sweatshirts, tank tops, <laughs> and dresses, and everything else. Continuing on the athletic vein, I got this really, really cute, like, Emilio Pucci-esque Adidas tank top. This is from 2004, so this is, like, actually Y2K, and it's a size medium. I am just obsessed with this print. Like, this is so cool and so modern. Like, nowadays, I could totally, totally see, like, Urban making this or, like, Free People or Emilio Pucci. I really, really love that print. And that's also size medium. I literally could, like, complete a wardrobe for a size medium gym person. Then, this is a new brand to me, and kind of like Icebreaker last time, a bunch of you guys are probably gonna be like, Jack, how did you not know that? That's like a total bolo. What are you doing? What are you thinking? Why do you know? Nothing. This one is called Steo. Stio, Steo. This is a size medium. I guess everything I have is a size medium. And this is a, like, thicker outdoor jacket. It's a snap button front with the logo on all of the snaps. And then the back has a big logo here. And it also has a logo on the side here, or it says Steo. And this brand is like really, really expensive. And the comps are really, really good on it. Again, I had never heard of it myself, but I guess that's a bolo. So if you see it, pick it up. Then we have another vintage item. This is a Tuesday find. If I found it on Wednesday, maybe I wouldn't have got it. I don't know, but it is a vintage man killer whale embroidered sweatshirt. This is originally a men's XXL, so this is very, very oversized, but this just seems like something that Brandy Melville would make right now, which I'm not a Brandy Melville seller, but I know there's like that customer base out there. And I almost prefer if I'm going to sell something that is Brandy Melville-esque, I'd rather have it be genuine vintage versus like a brandy remake. Next up is a chaser item and this is an XL which I feel like I never find chaser in XL and it says living the dream and I kind of feel like this will do okay. Chaser is like very hit or miss and nowadays very miss. I don't know I think that saying I just I have a good feeling about it and again XL is a great size for chaser I feel like. Next up is a J Crew item that is the newer outlet label and it's a size small and it's this really cute blue plaid kind of speckled sweatshirt with like a cowl turtleneck. This seems like it's hardly ever been worn and I just think that this will do good. I definitely do not pick up all J Crew, but since it's so new and it's in really good shape, I thought I would try it. Oh, then we have like my favorite thing to find. Oh, this and Spanx. Like if I could just find a bin of Spanx and smart wool like, sign me up. So this is smart wool size medium, and I believe that this is a men's medium, and it is this black merino wool. There's the little smart wool guy. We should, like, name him. Does he have a name? Does smart wool dude have a name? If he does, please tell me so I can, like, address him properly. This is a men's medium, and it is 100% merino wool, and it is kind of like a polo sweater because it, like, buttons up like a quarter of the way. Really good shape. I don't want to touch the ground because Mike hairs love a black knit. Literally, there's like a few floating right in front of me right now. But this has no holes, which with smart wool it wouldn't matter anyways. But like, I don't know, I was kind of surprised. It's also like not pilly at all. It was in like really, really good shape for being in the bins. Now we have more athletic, and this is not a medium. This is Athleta, and this is a really neon like pink peach orange color and it is actually a 2x which I rarely ever find like plus size Athleta but when I do I like to pick it up and I like to list it myself if this was not a 2x I would totally just consign it but since it's 2x I'm gonna post it myself there's like light light spandex kind of pilling in a few spots 
but it's not that bad. This, you guys might need to inform me on this one as well. New brand to me. The retail looks really high. I don't think it's as good as that Steo brand, but it's kind of like in the same vein. This is a brand called Orage. O-Rage or Orage. And it's right here too. Really irritating to Google because if you look up like Orage or Orage wool jacket, it says you mean orange and it just auto corrects you to orange and it just keeps correcting everything to orange. This is O Rage or orange without an N. And it's another kind of like wool outdoorsy brand, which I'm like totally getting into because they always do so well. But the comps on this like don't look as good and there's just not as much info on this as there is about that Steo brand. So if any of you know anything about this brand or even how to say it, please let me know. More REI outdoorsy Sierra, Dick's Sporting Goods, hiking, Arcteryx, Patagonia type fun stuff. This is Prana and this is a Sherpa quilted fleece Sherpa lined vest and it's a size medium and I literally never pick up Prana. It just does not do good for me. Actually I will pick it up but to consign it but I do not pick it up to sell. This I'm gonna try for a little bit just because it's a little more like substantial than like just a pair of Prana pants but we'll see how it does. It'd be really warm and comfortable and soft. Okay, and again, continuing on that like hiking, outdoorsy, REI, fun outdoorsman situation. We have a Mountain Hardware, and this is a Women's XL, and this is actually a quilted down puffer jacket, and it has this like contrasting quilting up at the top. There's the logo right there. This has some wear to the cuffs, and then on one of the arms, there's almost like, I don't think they're like holes, there's just like slight, splitting at the seam, which makes some of the feathers pop out just like a little bit. But overall, it's in really good shape. And this is like sitting on top of the bin. So I assume someone picked it up and then maybe passed on it because of the splitting. But like down coats from like decent brands, even with like a little bit of flaw to them, usually can sell for something. Then we have a Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. There is the logo. I love to pick up Denim and Supply. And this is a size medium. And I can't remember, do they make men's? Because if they make men's, this might, probably. This is a men's jacket sweatshirt, I believe. It just has like the logo on the front and then the sleeve has the American flag patch that they use on their jeans and stuff. And then the back is plain, but it's in super good shape and it's like hardly ever been worn. So I thought I'd pick that up. We have about like six more items. So bear with me. Next up is an anthro piece and it's moth and it's size small and it's like an older style. So normally I would skip it, but I thought because of this like bat wing sleeve and the bob on the sleeves. It's kind of cute. So I'm gonna give it a try. Not like the most exciting moth ever, but it could do okay. Same with this Madewell. Not super exciting, but like it's decently cute. So there's the label and it's extra small. And it's just like this striped sweater tank top. And it kind of like is like a faux crossover in the front. I don't really know why. Then we have a Sundance piece. I love Sundance. And this is the newer label with the light blue and that size medium. And this is a really pretty pink like bubblegum velvet blouse. And it has a full button front. This one side has like, if you can see that small like almost orange patch or like spot. Otherwise it's in like perfectly good condition and it's a silk blend and it's very soft. Last four things. First one is a Pink Floyd cropped tie-dye t-shirt. I really like the colors. I think it'll do okay. It is by Pink Floyd and it is a size medium and I never know if it's like factory cropped or if someone did that but it doesn't really matter honestly. Then this is another new brand to me that is a bolo even though there are not many on Posh so I don't know how it's gonna do. It's called Harmony. And it is a brand that is made in Paris. This is like a tie-dye t-shirt that says naive on it. And I think, I think this is an extra small and I'm assuming it's men's. There's extra small and there's the Harmony tag. I could just tell by the tag that it was expensive and the website is Harmony Paris. And I Googled it and sure enough, Harmony is like really expensive. I think this is pretty cute. Maybe I'll keep it if it does terribly. I don't know. <laughs> Two more things. First up is a brand that I never sell. 
I don't think I ever have. It's Chico's and it's a size two, which says US large. And I just thought this was really nice. It's a sweater vest and it's new with tag. So that's actually why I'm selling it. Retailed at $130. It is the sequined printed tie sweater vest. And it's like tunic length. And if you can't tell, there are sequins in it but I thought it was cute. It's really soft. And like everything, it's cute because cute's the only adjective I know. Last but not least is 360 sweater, which is by 360 Cashmere, which is a very expensive like luxury sweater brand. The Real Real takes it, very expensive. I think I might try this one myself because the Real Real doesn't market super high and especially with now only earning 30%, that's not very much. And this is cute, cute. Again, drinking game, drink when I say cute. It is like an olive green and it has these nice striped cuffs on the sleeves. And I think it's very neat and very adorable and very nice. So that is all that I have for you guys today. Please let me know in the comments. First off, does Smart Will Guy have a name? Cause I gotta know. Also, what was my other question? How do you say orage, orage, orage? Like Mirage, Orage. I had some other question too, didn't I? A lot of you know Lulu. So if you can tell me what those Lulu leggings are too, that would help me out as well. But that's all that I have for you. And also please let me know below, which bins haul did you think was better? Was today's or was Tuesday's? I kind of think this one was better. I'm pretty excited about these new like outdoorsy brands. These new like REI, Sierra, hiking, running, jogging brands. That is all that I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys on Saturday for What Sold Saturday with my mom, Debbie. She's gonna tell you guys about her sales that she had this week along with me telling you about mine. And then we will see you, Ryan and I, on Tuesday for something that I do not know yet. So we will see you then. Goodbye.